Hello everyone! In this week's video, my sister and I are going to do the art swap challenge. On TikTok, I've been seeing some artists do a challenge where they both draw on a piece of paper and then swap the papers after a certain amount of time. My sister and I both thought this seemed like a fun idea and wanted to give it a try, but we'll be doing our own spin on the challenge. In the original challenge, artists would draw their own parts of the picture from start to finish. However, we wanted to try creating two illustrations that each featured a character that we took turns drawing. Like we both sketch the heads and then swap, we both draw the torsos and then swap, and so on. I'll narrate my parts of the process and my sister Reagan will narrate her parts. Also, my sister is Reagan Doodles here on YouTube. And if you want to check out her channel, there's a link in the description. Anyways, enough explaining, let's start the challenge. Oh wait, I just remembered, to help us kind of stick to a theme, we used a random word generator to generate a word to use as inspiration for the art pieces. The words we got were natural and billowy. Not gonna lie, I had to google the definition for that one. <laughs> oh, also, also, I posted a new chapter of my webcomic to my webcomic channel. I actually did this last week, but I forgot to announce it in the video. Uh, so yeah, that's up on my webcomic channel. Okay, now on to drawing, I promise. <laughs> So I'm starting by sketching the head for the billowy art piece. Reagan and I decided to have one illustration feature a girl and the other feature a guy just to have there be more variety in the art pieces. I decided to go with a head in three quarter view since it felt like the safest option. There's a lot you can do with a head in that kind of view. Since he is billowy, I thought I would draw the head as if we were slightly looking up at him or he's holding his head high. For some reason, billowy made me think of a sailor with a loud personality. Uh, but Reagan had a very different interpretation of the word. <laughs> Hello, now it's my turn to talk. I'm Reagan, Rebecca's little sister. Um, now I'm drawing. I decided to draw a head in three quarters view because I felt like this was a good angle to choose because it's interesting without being like super hard to add on to. I also kind of sketched the head like she was looking down or we were looking down at her, but I don't think it's very obvious. Now I'm sketching the torso with Regan's head. It felt a bit odd working with a head that's not mine. At first I had the torso go in the same direction as the head, but I felt like this might be a bit boring, so I turned the torso to go the other direction. Since Regan is also going to be working with this sketch, I am trying to make things a bit cleaner and more readable. A lot of times my first initial sketches are super duper messy, but this time I'm trying to make you have the cleanness of a second pass sketch. And now I'm sketching the torso. Um, when I heard the word billowy, I thought of it in a way of kind of like a flowy way. Because when we we're hearing the definition, it was like saying stuff like a large wave. It was also saying like a sheet billowing in the wind. So it was giving a whole bunch of things that were making me think flowy. So I tried to make his torso flow at least a little bit, nothing too major. And I also had his torso face the opposite direction of his head because I thought that would make it seem even more flowy and more interesting. Now it's time to draw arms on Regan's torso. I did find it very funny that we both drew the torso going the opposite direction of the head. We often joke with each other that we share the same brain cell. <laughs> Based on the sketch we had so far, this guy seemed a bit sassy or confident. Plus, like I mentioned, billowy was making me think of a loud sailor kind of guy. So I continued with this theme by placing one arm on the hip, and I was thinking maybe he could have his other arm gesture to himself. The hard part is that I'm not going to be drawing the hands, Reagan will. I was really hoping she would get the idea of what I was wanting. We are trying to not talk to each other about what we wanted, uh, but we did say a few things to each other. But for the most part, we were trying to not comment on each other's like work or anything. Uh, but we did talk back and forth a little bit. For my arms, I wanted them to look natural. I made one go up to her face. I planned just to have her face just kind of sit there in like a flowy hand position or something. I wasn't really quite sure yet. I feel like this arm that's going up towards her face doesn't look the best. I feel like it looks a bit odd in a way. And for the left arm, I made it go down and a bit out to the side. So her arm is kind of flowing out. For the lower left hand, I was having problems deciding on a pose. I wanted the hand to kind of flow out, but it kept looking really stiff. I eventually decided to go to the other hand to see if I could figure out what I wanted for that one. And it seemed like maybe Reagan wanted me to put the hand behind the head. Uh, thankfully, it was really easy to draw, unlike the other hand. <laughs> but I am glad I did get a pose that I was pleased with eventually. Now I'm going to draw the hands. Um, 
when I saw how Becca put his arms, I was like, this guy got some sass to him. Because it looked like Becca was going to put his hand on his hip. And then he had, like, his hand up toward his chest. Or the hand that's, like, by his chest, I just made it rest on his chest. Like, he was being like, I am fantastic. I'm so great. For his right hand, I just put it on his hip because that's what it looked like Becca was doing. The hands look went fairly fine. Did struggle with the hand that was on his hip because I don't draw that super often. Overall, both the hands turned out okay. I still feel like they're not incredible, but they turned out okay. Like I mentioned, I feel like this guy has a bit of personality and I figured why not just go all the way with it. So to make this even more over the top, I decided to place his one leg on a box. Like I said, I kept thinking Sailor and figured maybe he could have his foot on a crate of some sort. Also, Regan and I were going to swap for the feet. However, we both felt like it would be better to include the feet with the legs, so we did. Plus, it would help things line up better later because it would make me draw my eyes on her head that she sketched. Instead of sketching my eyes on my head, which didn't feel as fun. For her legs, I decided to make her walk because I thought it would seem more interesting compared to her just standing there. I couldn't really think of anything else more natural for her to do besides walking or standing because it's not really natural to pose your legs. Now to sketch the eyes, because this head was not mine, I wasn't totally sure how I wanted to place them or what style I wanted to go with. First I tried these more narrow pointy eyes and I kind of liked the vibe of them. Plus, they are different from a shape of eye that Reagan usually does. I did try drawing a more round style eye that I often use, and I did think it was cute. Uh, but the other ones felt more interesting to me. Also, these next few face categories are going to swap kind of fast, but things will slow back down again. For the eyes, it was a bit different drawing them on the head because Becca draws her faces longer than mine. My boys often have shorter faces and often kind of look like girls. I'm trying to fix that. So I tried to make my eyes fit the head Becca drew. So I might have drawn them a bit thinner. I'm not really sure. I decided to have them wink because when I saw how Becca drew the legs, it made me think like, boy, this guy got some confidence. So to add on to that, I decided to make him wink just to add on to the pose. I drew a nose. I don't have much else to say about it. <laughs> I just drew a nose here. I kind of like drawing noses. For the eyebrows, I drew them in a sad looking way. I thought it would make things interesting. Reagan said I gave the character emotional issues. <laughs> I just gave him happy eyebrows and made the right one go down a bit since he's winking. I drew a big smile to match his big personality. I just drew a small mouth here. For this category, we agreed we could draw a dress if we wanted to, and so I decided to draw a dress. In my head, I was thinking it was made of a light flowy material and that it bunches in a lot around the waist. I added a flower on the belt and added more straps to make it more interesting around the neck area. For the shirt, I decided to give him a shirt with like puff sleeves and ruffles because I thought this would look cool and I really was holding on to this flowy idea. I was thinking about drawing his shirt tucked into his pants, but I wasn't really sure how to go about doing that because I didn't really have the pants planned where they were going to go. I ended up giving him a vest, which was actually Becca's idea. I quite like how the vest looks. When Regan was thinking of billowy, she was thinking flowy sleeves and soft wind. So she went for a shirt that was a lot fancier looking than I was expecting. So for the pants, I tried my best to match the shirt she drew. So now in my head, instead of thinking of him as a sailor, he's some rich kid that wants to explore the ocean, but doesn't really know what he's doing. <laughs> also, I made the pants short to maybe tuck them into boots, uh, but we'll see what Reagan does for the shoes. Since this girl is wearing a dress, I can't really give her pants. And I also didn't want to really give her leggings either. So I decided to just give her vines on her leg because the dress she's wearing kind of gives like a goddess-like vibe, if that makes any sense. And I thought the vines would seem really, really cool and add to the vibe. It was a bit funny because Regan sketched the feet, but now I need to draw the shoes. I wasn't sure how much to stick to Regan's sketch, but I kind of tried to. However, instead of shoes, I decided to just draw her feet instead. I felt like it would go with the natural theme better. I'm not super comfortable with drawing feet, mostly because I don't need to draw them super often, but I feel like these turned out okay. I'm still not a super big fan of the back foot. Also, it was a little hard to make the ankle for the foot line up with Regan's sketch of the leg. I feel like it changed the proportions of my feet just a little bit. 
Now it's time for the shoes. At first I was just drawing some dress shoes. They kept kind of looking weird at first, kind of looked like just weird sneakers. Now as I was drawing them, I was talking about drawing shoes to Becca because I was just drawing shoes. Then Becca looked at my screen and was like, oh, and I'm like, what? I thought you would draw boots. Because Becca drew the pants kind of rolled up being prepared for boots, but it was pretty easy. I just extended the top and then they looked like boots. So it worked out. For the hair, we are splitting it between the front and the back. So for the front of the hair, I went with a kind of swoopy bang style. I wanted the hair to feel a bit fancy or stylish, I suppose. But I also didn't want it to feel too stuffy because he does seem a bit adventurous and kind of fun. Now I'm drawing the front of the hair. I made it part on the left and have some tuck behind her ear. I drew it like this with the idea in my head that her hair was going to be down. And I wanted some movement, so I made her hair kind of swish from her walking because I thought that would be pretty. For the back of her hair, I was thinking about drawing it in a simple down style, but I thought a ponytail might be more interesting and I made it kind of spur V to add some movement. For the back of his hair, I just kind of assumed what Becca was gonna do and just kind of finish the job. I did keep joking though about giving him like a rat tail. <laughs> I couldn't think of much for accessories. I decided to just sketch out the box a bit more to make it clear to Reagan that it's a crate and not just a large square. <laughs> for accessories, I gave her more vines. I decided to put them around her neck because I thought it would look cool. I also gave her some bracelets, two on her left wrist and one on her right. And I thought these would add on and make it seem kind of cool and add on to that vibe just a little bit more. So for the line art, to make things a little bit more difficult or interesting, we decided that we would need to line the parts that each other sketched. So I would do the line art for the parts that Reagan sketched, and Reagan would do the line art for the parts that I sketched. Oh, also, when Reagan and I were swapping, we would literally just swap which desk we were sitting at. So for the line art here, I was sitting at her desk using her tablet and I needed to use her line art brush. Working on a different setup did feel very weird, especially because Reagan's layout for Clip Studio Paint is a bit different than mine. I would go to press a certain button or select a tool, but she would have them placed in different spots, so it was quite confusing. <laughs> Also, the brush Regan uses for line art is very interesting. She told me she made it herself. It was a bit hard for me to use because it has like no line variation to it. According to Regan, her brush does have a little bit of variation, but Regan's tablet sensitivity is set so that you need to press fairly hard to make the brushes change in size. Uh, but I draw with a pretty light hand, so I was having a hard time getting it to change in line art thickness. Uh, because of the different brush, I was struggling a bit with the line art, but I tried my best. It felt amazing when I got to go back to my usual setup and got to use my brush. It was like, yay, I'm home. <laughs> also, I'm not going to show you much for this footage because you see me do line art on my setup all the time. Oh, but one thing I did want to comment on is that I was having a hard time deciding how much I should stick to Regan's sketch. There were times I would want to try to draw things differently. Uh, but the whole point of this is that I'm going over Regan's sketch, not doing my own thing. So I tried my best to stick to her sketch. Now I'm doing line art. It felt kind of weird doing line art at a different setup because Becca has enough room to rest her elbows. Compared to my desk, I don't have that room, so my elbow doesn't touch the desk at all. So it felt really weird when I was doing line art and I kept holding my arm weird because I didn't like my elbow touching the desk. So my shoulder kind of hurt afterwards. The brush she uses though is pretty nice. Um, it kind of makes my brush feel like trash because I got so used to how nice it feels to use it. You're able to do little thin lines and it looks so nice. And then you try to do those lines with my line art brush and it just looks so weird because it doesn't taper nicely. It just kind of looks weird with my line art brush. So now I really, really like Becca's line art brush. Now we are on to the coloring. Once again, Regan and I will keep swapping for different parts of the picture. I do have to say it was very weird fully rendering one part at a time. This is very different from how I usually work. Overall, I tried to keep the lighting situation pretty normal and generic. I wanted it to be easy for Regan to match up with the shading. I didn't want it to have some kind of complicated light source that was hard to match up with. Now I'm coloring the skin. It felt kind of odd coloring one thing completely because often I kind of bounce around just a little bit, not a whole bunch, but I bounce around a bit. 
or there's layers I put on top of everything. So I made it feel like I'd fully, fully shade before I gave it to Becca. But it was fine. I really like shading the skin. Coloring skin is one of my favorite things to color. Reagan told me that she did not want to shade the ponytail, so we decided to swap in a way that made it so I had to do the shading for it. And I do feel like I struggled a bit. Once again, I'm not used to rendering one part of a picture from start to finish. Plus, I was trying to kind of match up with the shading Reagan did. I kept really wanting to push the shadows and highlights and contrast, but this looked out of place next to Reagan's, so I tried to mellow things out a bit and do so even more later in the process with correction layers. For his hair, I made it like a burgundy red color. Nothing that special for shading. Becca's airbrush is a bit different than mine, so that did feel a bit weird. It made it harder to shade. So for the eyes, I'm shading them in my usual way. It was different seeing my shading style in an eye that's kinda not mine. Like it kind of is because I did the line art for it, but I can still tell that's closer to Reagan's eye style. She doesn't like to define the lower lash. I accidentally defined it a bit more with my line art, uh, but Reagan usually does like no lower eyelash line. Also, I changed the color from blue to green because I didn't like the blue for some reason. <laughs> For her eyes, I made them a light blue, almost white, and in the line art stage, I didn't give her a pupil, which I kind of liked how it looked, so I tried to give her pupil like a soft, messy kind of look. It isn't really obvious when you look at it from a distance, but I still think it looks really pretty. Simple, but pretty. For the dress, I was trying to render it in a way that makes it look light, flowy, and airy. Because it's a thin fabric, it can fold a lot, especially since it's bunching at the waist. And I was trying my best to render the folds. I was using the blending tool a good amount. Also, to help the fabric feel a bit sheer, I added a bit of the skin tone on the dress around the front leg. And I quite like this touch. I feel like it helps the fabric look really light. For shading this shirt, it was not anything that amazing. There was a lot of ruffles to shade, so I did take a decent amount of time shading it. It was kind of fun shading the ruffles and I just made his shirt white and for his vest I decided to make it a green color to kind of match his eyes and I also gave it stripes. For the pants I wasn't totally sure what I wanted to do. I ended up trying to match the color Reagan did for the vest like he is wearing some kind of suit outfit or something. In the end I did make the pants a slightly darker shade just because I liked that a little bit more. Oh also since the girl character doesn't have shoes Reagan and I couldn't swap for that part, so I shaded the shoes instead. The accessories didn't take that long to shade in color. I just shaded the vines and then made her bracelets gold. The gold was kind of fun to shade. I liked making them look kind of shiny. Now we have the finishing touches. Technically, I should have done the finishing touches on the other picture because we were supposed to swap. But Reagan said she wanted to add the final touches to that picture, so I let her because I didn't really have a preference. And honestly, I wasn't totally sure what to do. I was mostly trying my best to make it feel like he's not just on a blank canvas or an empty void. I wanted things to feel a bit more interesting. So to help him feel more established, I applied an ocean background in a square. And then to maybe help it look better, I drew a kind of wonky looking wood border or something. I went with the ocean just because I still kind of had that sailor idea in my head. And I thought maybe it would help the crate make a little bit more sense. I don't know, I was winging it. <laughs> I don't usually plan this stuff at the very end. For the finishing touches, I added some light with add glow on the right side, and on the left I added some shadow with multiply in like a bluish color. Oh, and the highlight was kind of a yellow color. I wanted to add these to kind of push the lighting I wanted a bit more, because it wasn't very obvious, and I feel like I did it in a way that looked a bit odd in a way. I feel like it doesn't look quite right, but I feel like it looks kind of cool. At first I didn't plan to put a square of the fourth behind her, but I looked at Becca doing the finishing touches on her picture and she was doing this and I thought it looked cool and mine just seemed so empty that I just decided to give it to her anyways, even though Becca was doing the same thing. But it's kind of fun in a way because it makes it seem like they slightly match. So here are the finished pictures. Uh, so what are your thoughts on them, Reagan? I personally really like how they look. It was quite fun making them because if you just look at them, you can tell that it's mine and yours. It's like a weird Frankenstein monster of our <laughs> art styles. I know what you mean. It's a little odd because it's like, yeah, that's mine, but that's yours. 
but that's also kind of mine but it's kind of yours and it's like kind of odd <laughs> Mm -hmm. So I feel like the pirate dude, for some reason, looks more like yours, mm -hmm. and the girl on the left looks a bit more like mine. I think it's because the girl on the left has most of the limbs drawn by me, and on the right, it's probably because you drew the head shape and then like the hair, mm -hmm. and with you line arting the eyes, it made them look more like your eyes. And since we went over each other's line art, it's like our spots are a little more each other's spots in a way. Like my hands look more like your hands and your hands look a little bit more like my hands, but not quite. It's very interesting for sure. Uh, but it was a lot of fun to do. It was really fun. I feel like we got some interesting characters out of it. <laughs> so that was the art swap challenge. Thank you so much to Reagan for doing this with me. It was a ton of fun. And like I said, if you want to check out Reagan's channel, there's a link in the description. Well, that's all for this video. But before we end, I want to say a super big thank you to my super awesome YouTube members and Patreon patrons. Your support means a ton to me. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all next week in my next video. Bye. bye. <laughs> I want to say bye too. <laughs>